Hey all. So today we're going to take a look at how to create a project within Google Cloud Platform, as well as associate it with a billing account. This is going to be required for us to be able to host our databases within Google Cloud. Now, I already assume that you've created your Google Cloud account. If you're in my class, uh, you should have uh, gone through the steps from the announcement in class to, uh, to get your uh, credits and all of that. If you found us online, again, then you're going to need to uh, already create a, uh, a Google Cloud account. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is to go to console.cloud.google.com. Um, and then we get our usual choose an account, or if you've not used a, a Google account on your uh, on your system, you may be just prompted to uh, to enter your uh, enter your email address. So I'll pick mine here and enter in my password. Now, in my case, since I already have a few different projects created and all of that, it sort of defaults to the uh, the last one that I used. Um, Either way, basically, I should be able to come here and you can see there's my various projects and there's the new project button. Um, I have seen it in some cases where it actually shows a blank screen um, with a little option to uh, to create project and you can do that as well. So here I'm just going to click on this. I'll go to new project and then it basically asks for a project name. Now. Since I'm actually using this for uh, for our databases class, um, and actually, as you as you may have noticed, you know, I have I actually created a project called Databases Spring 2019. So since I'm since I want to show creating another one, even though that's really the best name for uh, for this one, uh, I'm actually going to give it a different name. So again, let me go to new project. Uh, let's just call this um, create demo. And then it'll ask for some additional information, right? So billing accounts. Once you've set up, uh, if, if you're in my class, you've, you've followed the steps for, uh, for the Google Cloud uh, grant, you have a billing account associated with your account. That should likely be the only one that's going to be associated. Since I have actually used this a number of times, I have a few different billing accounts listed, but you'll want to make sure to, uh, to, select your, uh, to select your billing account. I've actually re Oop, yes, that's fine. I've actually renamed mine to uh, to CGS 1540 Spring uh, Spring 2019. So again, your name you, the name of yours might be slightly different. Again, select your billing account. If you found this online and so forth, you've undoubtedly then created your account. You'll need to set up a billing account if you're using the the three hundred dollar free credits. I believe you have to you have to. Uh, you have to use a, a password, I'm sorry, a, a credit card uh, to sign up and all of that. Um, but again, for those students in my class, uh, we should you should have your, your account once you've gone through the steps of signing up. Okay, so those are the main things that you basically need to do. Give it a name, uh, a unique name for, for within your, uh, your Google Cloud, assign your billing account, and click Create. Right, so it chugs away a little bit, uh, basically comes up. And, uh, and let's see, so there is databases spring. Let me just uh, open this up. Did it actually create it? I'm not seeing it just yet. Um, there it is, right? So it is actually trying to, uh, to create the account. It could take a minute or so to, uh, to do that. Um, let me just click cancel. Also, if I go to my notifications here, right there it is, it says create project, uh, create demo. So if I click on that, it'll actually take me, well, project's not quite created yet there. Maybe it's created now, yes. Nope, not quite. Yes, it's still thinking very hard. And this can happen. It can take a, take a minute or two to, uh, to create the project. Ah, there we go. 
and uh, and the project is is in fact now created. So now we have the ability to to make use of Google Cloud. Um, in our case, we're going to use it for for dealing with cloud databases. Um, again, if you follow, found this online, um, or even if you're, if you're in my case in my class, I mean um, there are a whole host of other Google Cloud services that you can actually use with this. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you're in the class. Hit us up on Piazza. Again, if you found this uh, found this online, uh, just uh, post your questions in the comments below.